Hi everyone, it's Elise from The Painted Brush & Co. I'm here today with this uh, mirror frame that I'm going to begin working on. Now this one, I really want to add some texture to it. I want to add some extra detail um, and I want it to look quite aged, quite vintage. I want it to have that sort of well-worn look and uh, feel to it. So, I'm going to be layering a few different colours. And I'm just sort of going to let it dictate where it goes. I don't have an exact picture, finished picture in my head. But we're going to see where it goes. So, this is um, made from some sort of resin. Uh, it is super, super smooth. And despite all the detailing, it is really... It's lacking the character that I would expect it to have. So we're going to be adding that with our paint and with our different products. I'm going to start with a coat of Lessential Botanics European Milk Fresco Paint in the colour. Uh, this is called Peppercorn. So this is the black. It's not quite a black black. It's more of a dark charcoal black. But I'm really, really excited to use this colour. Because I want texture, I'm going to be using a natural bristle brush. This is a Paint Pixie uh, size 12. I purchased my Paint Pixie brushes from Lori at Paintbrush and Pixie Dust. She, I believe, is the only Australian stockist. So I get them from her. I find they're really good for adding texture where I want texture. And I'm finding it's quite good with this uh, European Milk Fresco as well, which is designed to be vintage. It's designed to be mottled. It's designed to look a bit rough and shabby around the edges. So, and that's why I've chosen it because it also creates really easy um, and authentic texture as well. So, I'm just going to get started and uh, let's see where this takes us. Always give your paint a really good shake. European Milk Fresco is an all in one milk paint, it does not have a um, acrylic base it is a traditional milk paint it is a true milk paint there is no acrylic base it will not chip like other milk paints on the market but it is truly beautiful and you look at you look at it you smell it you feel it you work with it you will know hands down this is a milk paint um, and it's truly truly beautiful and like Lysens all of Lysens products this is um, this is eco-friendly certified, it's VOC free and it's vegan. It's also Aussie made and owned.
today we are up to sealing. So as you've seen, I've layered, I've blended, um, I've done a lot of dry brushing, I've brought out all that beautiful texture, and now we're going to seal. So to seal, I'm going to be using Lysential Botanics Black Liquid Wax. So the reason I'm using this is I want to add a bit more depth and definition to um, all of the details of this piece. I also want to slightly darken it just that little bit more. Now, uh, very, very easy to use. Give it a good shake. So a quick shake, make sure that it's well uh, mixed. Pass on out onto a plate or into a cup. You really don't need a lot. So that's the wax. Now I have a different brush for every um, wax. But this is the one that I'm using today. You just want some form of um, natural bris bristle brush, I find is best. You can use synthetic brushes, um, or you could just use a cloth. But for something like this that has all this detailing, a brush um, is highly recommended. So that's what I like to use. So I just use microfiber cloths for buffing. So I've got that one ready to go as well. So load up your brush just like you would if you're painting, but with a little bit less wax. You don't need loads and with wax you can keep building those layers until you're happy as well. So we don't need loads of wax. You can see there's barely anything there. And then it's as simple as brushing it on just like you would say if you're painting. So, all I'm doing is I'm brushing this wax all over. Now for a piece this size I'm going to apply the wax everywhere and then I'm going to go back and start buffing. So you want to give it about 10 minutes from applying to buffing it off. So buffing is just going to remove that excess. You can buff it off sort of start straight away, but you want to give that wax, particularly if you are adding a coloured wax, a chance to start soaking into your paint and adding um, that bit of detail that you're really after. Okay, so to finish off, I'm going to add a tiny bit of gilding wax. I just want to highlight that little bit more and I want to add a little bit of glam as well. So I have got Peacock, which is this beautiful shimmery blue, one of my favourites. I've also got Sterling Silver or Silver, um, which... So I'm going to start with my blue because I've already got blues on here. I want to add a little bit more. So it's as easy as rubbing a little bit on your finger. That's all you need to do. A little bit on your finger. You can use a brush if you prefer. But a little bit on your finger. And then very, very carefully, wherever you want it, brushing it over with the edge of your finger just a little bit I really don't want a lot I don't want it to become quite overpowering so I really just want a little bit and just here and there too I don't want it all over just here and there 